Hi, my name is Meira Schneider Attic, and I am here to teach you how to look good within Jewish law. And one aspect of that is hair covering for married women. And mitpachot are a major part of that. Now in my first video for Look Your Best in Mitpachot, I demonstrated the basic crown tie. Now one thing I love about that is that it's so versatile. The crown is a very simple and very basic way to do it. It can stand very nicely on its own. It really looks very finished and very elegant. But I also really like the way it can be used as a base for something a little more elaborate. So today I'm demonstrating what I like to call the crown bun. Now this is a wrap that my neighbor taught me. She learned it from her Israeli relative. I love the classic bun wrap, but I can't wear it because it sits too flat on my head. In order to look your best in mitpachot, you have to have some height on top. So I was always wondering, how do you get a bun without sacrificing height? Here is one way to do that. You start by putting your hair into a low ponytail. You take the scarf, you drape it over your head with the ends hanging even, and you tie it in the back. Just tie it once. Then tuck the tail end in so nothing's hanging. Now for now, leave the side ends hanging. What you do next is you take another scarf, another triangular scarf, and fold it in from the tail end upward to create an oblong shape. You drape it over the top of your head like this with the ends hanging even. Make sure though that it goes on top of the side ends of your base scarf. Tie it at the nape, at the bottom. Just tie it once. And now, you just take each side end and you wrap it and you tuck it and that creates the bun. Then, to create the height, you take your side ends of your base mitpachat and just drape them over the top, hang them over to the top, on top of your accent tichel. Tie them once and tuck, just like you would with a basic crown tie. And there you have it. You've got a nice little bun in the back, but you also have the height on the top. Now, this is something I like to do for the weekdays. But if I really want to dress it up, I do a little variation. One thing, you'll, one thing you may have noticed is that I used a green base scarf and, I use, and I'm using a coral pink accent scarf. Now I did that on purpose because pink and red sit opposite green on the color wheel. And so since they contrast because of that, you can really see what's going on here. Now if you're not a big fan of high contrast or or, or the kind of drama that it creates, you can still get the look. Just try to use two colors that blend well together. Now, I myself am not a big fan of high contrast with my head coverings because I like to showcase my jewelry. But I still want to show this off. So, instead of using a uh, an Israeli scarf folded up, I took a commercial oblong scarf and again I drape it over my head again with the ends hanging even and again tie it in the back just once but in order to make this look just a little bit more special instead of just wrapping it what I do is I take the back ends and I crisscross them and tie them once. Then 
I bring the ends back down to the bottom and tie them again, just once, and this creates the bun, but then I leave the ends hanging in the back. And because this scarf is so silky smooth, it looks much it looks even dressier. And then I take the side ends again of my base scarf and I tuck them in. And I tie them on top and I tuck them in. And I still get the I still get the bun effect and I get the height and I love the way it looks. Whatever you do, don't be afraid to experiment and play around with your mitpachot. You never know what you're going to get. And the only real limits are your imagination and what flatters you. Enjoy.